At De Pere High School, uh, students and staff took part in a moment of silence during last night's basketball game. They remembered a student who died this week. As Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht reports, students and school administrators say his death has brought into focus the ongoing need for suicide awareness. Sense of humor. Yeah, big jokes there. Always laughing, making people laugh. De Pere senior Kenny Wordle's friends say his upbeat personality makes his suicide on Sunday all the more shocking. As the news spread around school, his friends thought they'd find comfort in each other. We got together in the counseling office and we just spent the day together talking about it, um, shared jokes. And the students, through their actions and how they wanted to grieve for their friend. Um, and come together in support of each other and in their grief and in their mourning. Um, it, it, it's an amazing sight to see. It's, it's sad, it's heartbreaking. And we're also using it as a way to bring up uh, suicide prevention. T-shirts were made, Kenny Strong. A hashtag on Twitter was created so friends could share their feelings and get the word out about Friday night's game. Where fans from both De Pere and Preble High Schools came together to wear yellow in awareness. Suicide is the third leading cause of death for young people in the United States, and De Pere High School staff says they hope that this could lead to a discussion about prevention. When we are looking at how do we teach kids that suicide is a very permanent solution to what are temporary problems truly, and so we want to try to give them coping strategies. Students say they're learning to be more willing to open up about their feelings. If I'm feeling depressed, uh, it'll help me reach out to others because seeing all the people now who care, I would take it that they all care. In a time of sadness when many young people might withdraw, these teens are banding together, showing that together they are strong and that no one has to be alone. In De Pere, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Now, Wordle's visitation and funeral will be tomorrow afternoon in Green Bay. And we have information about suicide prevention, including warning signs online. There's a link on our homepage at fox11online.com.